everyone welcome back to my youtube channel today's video is going to be a little bit different for me this is going to be a quick review on the boogaboo butterfly stroller this travel stroller just came out a little while ago we bought it actually kind of right as it came out it was right when we needed a travel stroller and i spent a long time researching and deciding between them so i thought i would give you my quick little review of it now that we've had it for a little while and we've been using it and also just kind of tell you what i was looking for when i was comparing them. I was comparing this with a ton of different ones, but the ones I actually really narrowed it down to were the Jules Air and the Baby Zen Yo-Yo. And while I may have gone with the Air over this, I think that the difference between them was so minuscule that it wouldn't have really mattered. And we already had this one and we needed it for a trip. So this is the one that we kept. It's a great little stroller. Here are the things that um, I read the most that people didn't like. So people thought that this fabric seat felt cheap. Yes, it will pill. Yes, it attracts lint clearly. Um, I think it's pretty comfortable. It's padded. I don't really have an issue with that. I love how tall the seat is. Our daughter is tall. If you have a really like um, chubby kind of kid, it might be a little tough because it is a little narrow, but she is narrow and tall. And so it's perfect for that. She's got a ton of room left to grow in that. I do really appreciate that this has, that it like, I don't have to buy an extra leg extension and then I, I can easily just move it down. I just do need two hands to do it, um, but I can move it out of the way and easily access the basket, which is a really nice size underneath. The wheels are fine, nothing to write home about. And people also don't, don't love the buckle. I have no problem with the buckle at all. I think it's actually really good. So that part's totally fine with me. And then canopy wise, it's a pretty good canopy. I do wish that this was actually like right here so you could see your child without them getting a ton of sun, but I don't even have it all the way open. Like you can have it open more. Um, and then, you know, it's nice big protection in the front, but this is so open. So as I just had it kind of this little like mini clothes is how I usually keep it. I can see her, but she's not getting like a huge amount of sun. So there's that. And then the other thing that people don't necessarily love about it is the brake. I think it's easy. I've certainly worn it with flip-flops. I don't really have a problem with that. And then um, this is super easy to take down and up when you want to lay your child down. It would be super nice if it had a little cubby thing right here just to put a couple essentials. But the basket is so nice and big that that doesn't really bother me much. So overall, we're really happy with it. I think it's a great stroller. I do think that the time that it takes for the Baby Zen Yo-Yo to actually collapse is not worth it. The actual stroller is great, but I do think it hasn't been updated that much. And like the, the ability to add a second one on just doesn't really work. Like the, I don't want two in front of each other. Like that seems a little silly so I know a lot of people absolutely love the yo-yo but I think that there are improvements with these ones they're certainly easier to fold down they're basically like the same weight and I think this one still costs less so yes you can customize that one but that doesn't really do anything for me so the babies and yo-yo I kind of took out of the equation because I just didn't think it was as good I didn't think that the searing was as good and the um, suspension on it was as great. So that one didn't really work for me. The Jules Air, however, the things that I liked about that one compared to this is that this one, you can only kind of see it, but the height for me is fine, but my husband's a full foot taller than me. So the Jules Air is a little bit taller. He didn't think it was that big of a deal, but I do think that would have been slightly more comfortable to push. And then I also think the Jules Air is a little bit easier to carry. The other thing about the Air is that it does have the option for that sit down ride along board, which I think is really nice when you're going to maybe have more than one child. I'm really hoping that the, the Boogaboo one comes out with one of those. I mean, they have it for pretty much every other stroller. So I hope that it comes out with one for this stroller by the time we need it. But the Jules Air already has that. I just think it's really long. Like it would actually be quite difficult to walk behind the stroller. So we decided it wasn't really worth it in terms of that. Um, and then weight wise and like the way it folds, um, those things didn't really make too much of a difference to me. So yeah, it just depends on what you're looking for. Other thing I wanna talk about is my biggest complaint with it is that it's harder to open than it should be. 
super easy in theory, but when you actually go to open it, sometimes it gets kind of stuck. So here's it opening nicely. Closes. <laughs> and then here is it opening and getting kind of stuck. And so you kind of have to like yank it up again, still super simple in terms of like compared, especially to something like the baby Zen yo-yo, but actually going through that motion is a little bit annoying and feels like it should be a little more sleek. However, I did hear that, however, I did read that this is made with a little bit tougher construction and should last a little longer, but that means it just takes a little bit more effort to, you know, make the mechanics of it work. So I guess I understand it in theory, but that is just something that I wanted to let you know. So the other thing I want to show is how it's actually carried on your shoulder. This is not my favorite part of the design. So I actually really like the footrest. I think it's super easy to move it, though I wish you didn't have to use two hands. That to me is a little annoying. I wish that you could just push like one button in the middle or something to move it up and down rather than the two on the side, though it would make it a little harder to carry this way. I understand why people think this is like a cheap fabric and then this. It's, it's a footrest like I don't, I don't know that doesn't really bother me like my my baby has no issue with that and I like this big strong handle I carry it like this I pretty much never carry it with the strap because the strap the strap gets kind of like stuck in here which is annoying I mean the bag is nice and compact yet it's still you know quite big when you're carrying it but the strap is so short it just seems like pointless like it it's really really uncomfortable to carry it needs to be longer. So that was something that the Jules Air had that like elastic strap that I think, okay, I like that this is padded, but it's just like all up in your, your armpit. So I definitely think in a pinch, this is fine, but uh, the longer strap is a smarter design. So that's it. If you have any questions about this stroller, please do let me know. I will say it's, it handled bumps. It handled like different terrain really quite well like it's not a perfect stroller and i think sometimes it feels like it's almost like leaning to one side it's definitely substantially better than our old umbrella stroller but this does not hold a candle to like the up a baby vista in terms of like bumpy sidewalks we live in an area with super uneven bumpy sidewalks and this is not something i would choose to take very often you get like stuck on bumps you got to move it around it's doable for sure but it's not as smooth of a ride. You kind of need those really big tires. However, for a travel stroller that's collapsible, it certainly does its job. It's super easy to keep in the car and take in and out. And I really like it. I think it's a great addition to another big stroller and you don't need an umbrella stroller or anything like that once you have this one. So that's what I would say about it. It's a, it's a really good stroller. I'm very pleased with it. It handled terrain in lots of different places. We've taken it on trips and it's great. It's, it, it's not a great like primary stroller. It shouldn't be your only stroller, but as an addition, it's a really good one. I hope that that helps answer any questions. If you do have any more, please leave them down below. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in a future video. Bye.